Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator, and in this video, we're going to talk about uh, the the story of the loudest sound on Earth. And just uh, hearing that headline, people might think that, of course, <laughs> you know, it would probably be a rock concert, but um, not so. It, it says here that um, the the volume of outdoor stages is mostly 90 to 100 decibels, an indoor tent, um, 95 to 110 decibels, and that's just two minutes of exposure to 110 decibels, and it continued in the article, uh, can cause damage. And so it says that the, um, the loudest concert Ever performed was by a Swedish um, rock group, Sleazy Joe, in 2008, and uh, it reached 143.2 decibels, uh, surely causing a lot of hearing loss in the um, process, it says. However, the um, story of the loudest sound on earth that we're talking about, it, it registered at 172 decibels. A hundred miles from the source, from where it happened, and this Wikipedia article says um, it is estimated to have reached 310 decibels um, at its source, which you know why it was heard um, 3,100 miles away. It, it was so powerful that it ruptured the eardrums of sailors 40 miles away. And that's reported in all of these articles here. I have a lot of the, that same little story here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it said the sound of the eruption in 1883 caused shockwaves 10,000 times more powerful than that of a hydrogen bomb and shattered the eardrums of sailors 40 miles away. It, it says that... Um, the residents of New Guinea in Western Australia, 1,300 miles away, reported hearing a series of loud booms resembling, resembling those of artillery in a northwesterly direction. Um, on the island of Rodriguez, 3,000 miles away, they reported hearing what sounded to them like the distant roar of heavy gunfire. It, it says that that eruption was heard by people across 50 different geological locations around the world. And in this Futurism article, it says that that really equated to it was clearly heard by 10% of the planet. And that, that is, um, as they say, powerful. Uh, it, the shockwave was t 100,000 times more powerful than a hydrogen bomb, is what this one says here, this article. And, and the eruption uh, caused tsunamis with waves uh, 148 feet high that destroyed the shores of Java and Sumatra. And, and right here in this uh, Wikipedia, so here's um, Krakatoa, the, this little island, Java. And Sumatra here, so when the eruption happened, the tsunamis headed out and destroyed 163 villages between Sumatra and Java. And right here, this is coral block thrown onto the shore of Java. So it, it threw this just coral <laughs> up, up onto Java from, you know, this little island way, way out here. And this History.com article says that um, the eruption killed more than 36,000 people. And this is back in 1883. So, you know, that's a lot of people for 1883. A few of the victims were killed by the volcanic rock or the hot volcanic gases produced by the blast themselves. But tens of thousands more people drowned in the series of tsunamis caused by the volcano's collapse into the caldera including a 120-foot-high wall of water uh, that wiped out 165 coastal villages on Java and Sumatra. And um, the event, the, the eruption of 
Uh, Krakatoa has been called the greatest natural disaster of the 19th century because with such an incredible release of pressure also came severe consequences for the surrounding areas. They said the um, tsunami uh, weighed 600 tons. <laughs> That's um, the power of water. It is very frightening. It's it's very peaceful and calming to look at, and it can be incredibly destructive. So this uh, Wikipedia says that the uh, sound wave is recorded to have traveled around the globe seven times. And this um, strange sound article says it was the equivalent of, you know, what we're talking about here is like being in Boston and clearly hearing a noise coming from Dublin, Ireland. Traveling at the speed of sound, 766 miles per hour, it takes noise about four hours to cover that distance. Um, that is the most distant sound that has ever been heard in recorded history. So, you know, imagine being in Boston and you hear a sound and it came from Dublin four hours earlier. Yeah, that um, that would have to be something of great force. And what do we say? 173 decibels. And uh, the smoke from the eruption reached 17 miles into the atmosphere. That's um, that's that's well up into the troposphere. I mean, into the stratosphere. 17 miles up. So, this is just something that I came across, and I just, uh, I just love this little planet that we live on. It's just such an amazing place. It gives us life. It gives us a lot of really cool things, and although, you know, some of the cool things that it gives us can be um, very destructive to lives and, you know, 163, 65 villages that were wiped out. Um, this this planet, it, it packs a punch with power and, and Mother Nature. It just um, takes control whenever it feels like taking control. And so next time, you, I don't know, you're playing Jeopardy or, um, you know, having some trivia and uh, somebody brings up <laughs> what was the loudest sound ever heard on Earth, you'll go, oh, I know. It was a, a volcanic eruption back in uh, 1883. It was Krakatoa, and you would win that $500 uh, behind Alex. I'll take the loudest sound on earth for 500 please. And uh, you might impress your friends. So stay tuned, people.